Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is crashing on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, restarting your computer. Still not working, the next step is to launch offline launcher. Now for this, you can open file explorer, go to this PC. Uh, wherever the game is installed, you can open the right games folder, open the game folder, live folder. And over here, you can see this make uh, sorry offline launcher you have to make a double click and launch offline launcher now once the offline launcher is open you will receive this error just ignore this error and then you can go to right client and then launch the game from right client as well now once the game is up and running from the right client so you should have two game running this is from right client and this is from this is the offline launcher so you can keep it as it is or uh, you can keep it as it is and you can uh, play the online one and then check if you want you can even close the offline you can close the offline and then you can only keep the online one and then you can check uh, let me close the game for now so that should work this has worked for uh, many players so it might over feel now the next step is to exit riot vanguard to exit riot vanguard you can click on this icon over here uh, it's hidden over here and make a right click on a riot vanguard and then click on exit vanguard and then click on yes to allow and then make a right click on the start menu go to task manager now if you find riot vanguard over here uh, not the right client but if you find riot vanguard in the list you can just make a right click and then end the task so i have only right client but if you find right vanguard you can just make a right click and then click on end task this is just an example now the next step is to start vg service now for this type in services in windows search box click on services find vgc and here you can see vgc make a double click on vgc and then set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok and once done now you can launch the game and then check still not working close citrix workspace so if you have this application on your computer then this may be maybe the reason so you can make a right click over here citrix workspace and then click on exit and once citrix workspace is closed now you can make a right click and then you can go to task manager and if you find citrix workspace over here uh, you can just make a right click and then end task so i don't have it but if you have it make a right click and task i don't have it if you find citrix over here you might find two three services close it also disable citrix workspace from startup so you can open windows settings and in the search you can type in startup apps and then go to startup apps if you find Citrix running over here, uh, you can disable Citrix from here. In my case, it is already off. If that does not work, you can disable app protection service. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Here you can see app protection service. Make a double click. Here you can see it's it is for here you can see Citrix CA client. So this is only for Citrix. So you have to you can select disabled over here, hit apply, click on OK. And later on, when you, when you want to use Citrix, you can always enable it and then you can use Citrix. Still not working. Uh, you can uh, uninstall Citrix workspace. So if if you can, you can uninstall Citrix workspace and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working. Disable real time protection, launch the game and then again enable the real time protection. Now for this, you can go to Windows settings and then go to privacy and security and then go to Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection and then click on manage settings over here under virus and threat protection settings and turn off real time protection click on yes to allow now you can launch the game now once the game is up and running once you are in the menu you can enable real time protection once again and then continue playing the game still not working the next step is to rename or delete the lion folder now for this you can open file explorer Go to this PC, open C drive, open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the local folder, find lion folder. Here you can see lion folder. You can make a right click and then you can rename this folder. You might have to 
yeah once you rename it you have to relaunch the game and then check if that does not work find right games folder open this folder and here you can see install 2xko close beta and you can see this 2xko you can make a right click and then uh, you can rename it or you can delete it uh, i will just rename it rename it or delete it and once you rename it now relaunch the game and then check still not working you can go back and rename this riot games folder the complete folder in this location uh, you have to close riot vanguard for this so close it and you have to log in once again to riot vanguard when you exit and then you can make a right click and then you can rename this and then you can launch the game launch the right client and you can launch the game and you have to log in once again and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to now the next step is to rename okay which we already done so yeah next step is to turn off nvidia overlay now for this you can launch nvidia app if you have nvidia app running you can open nvidia app now go to settings in nvidia app and then you can over here you can see nvidia overlay if this is on turn it off and then you can close nvidia app and then if you have discord running uh, you can uh, open this so open discord and scroll down here you can see game overlay if game overlay here you can see uh, in my case it's already off so you can turn these off and then close discord so if you have discord running make a right click quit discord also nvidia app you can close it and then check also close uh, if you have any other overlay application you can turn off overlay in that application also close all the overlay application and then launch the game if you have msi after burner reward tuner any kind of overclocking application running close it close steam if you are running steam over here uh, you can just exit steam and then you can launch the game repair the game files now for this you can go to riot vanguard let me log in Now go to Riot Client and then once you go to Riot Client, uh, you have to select the game over here and then at the top right click on your profile icon and then click on settings over here and then make sure enable auto update is enabled and then click on repair, click on start repair. Now if the repair is not happening, you can just spam click repair button. So try to repair multiple times. Just click on click on keep click on repair and once it will repair the game files and once the repair is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working go to this uh, location in registry editor so type in registry editor in windows search box and then click on registry editor click on yes to allow and then go to hk local machine so go to hk local machine and then go to software and then go to microsoft over here expand microsoft and then it's uh, windows nt current version scroll down and find windows nt here you can see windows nt and then current version expand it and then find image file execution so scroll down here you can see image file execution now over here if you see this dev override enable you can make a double click if the value data is set to one you can just type in zero over here and then click on OK. For example, if, if you don't see this, if you don't have this dev override enable, you can just uh, create a, so in that case, you can make a right click on the right hand side. After you select image file execution option, make a right click and then select D word 32 bit value. You can rename it and then you can set the value data to zero over here and then click on OK and then you have to restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file, all the exe file to the antivirus program. Now if you're using Komodo antivirus, you can go to Komodo settings, advanced protection, miscellaneous, and then check the box that says don't detect shell code injection in this application. Then click on these application and then add a riot games folder, the complete game folder and all the exe file. Also allow the complete game folder to exception in your antivirus program. 
Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, click on add an allowed app, browser apps, go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in C drive. So open Riot Games, open the game folder, live, select this exe file, click on open. Again, add an allowed app, browser apps, select this exe file, add it, again, browser apps, and then open lion folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file, click on open. Once it is added, type in control panel in Windows search box, and then go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Then click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, change settings, allow the app, click on browse. Again, uh, add all the exe file, select it, in my case, I have already added and then click on add. It is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then select this one, add. Again, allow another app, click on browse and then open line binaries in 64. Select this one, open and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to Disable, uh, delete the temporary files. Now for this, you can type in run in Windows search box. In, in the run box, you can type in temp temp. Click on OK, select everything over here. Control A, shift delete, continue. And now again, you open the run box. And in the run box, this time type in percentage. TEMP percentage and then click on OK. Select everything, set delete. And once this is done, now you can disable all the startup item in task manager. Make a right click and then go to task manager. And then you can go to startup option. Here you can see this is the startup option. Go to startup apps and then in disable all the startup application. In my case, here you can see everything is disabled. Once you disable it, restart your computer and then relaunch the game. Next step is to perform clean boot. For this, type in system configuration in Windows search box, click on system configuration. Go to the services tab, put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. Hit apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to turn off VPN if you are using VPN. Next step is to go to the registry editor once again. So type in registry editor in the Windows search box and then click on yes to allow. Again, expand H key local machine. So H key local machine, again software, again Microsoft. And this time it's Windows current version. Scroll down and find Windows, Windows, not the Windows NT, but Windows. Expand it and then current version and then find app mode unlock. Here you can see app mode unlock. If you see allow development, development, allow development without DEV license, you can just make a double click, set the value data to zero. If you don't have this, I will show you how to make this. And you can just make a right click new D word D 32 bit value and then name it as allow development without DV license. Make a double click. Uh, sorry. Uh, you have to make a right click and then you have to rename this. And then you can set the value data to zero over here and then click on OK. Now you have to restart the computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to delete this vgk boot status so open file explorer go to this pc open c drive open windows folder now find vgk boot status copy this file create a backup first once you have a backup created over here now you can delete this now once deleted now this time uh, run command prompt cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app click on run as administrator make sure that you run this as an administrator only click on yes to allow and copy this these two command so let me yeah copy this command and then paste it on the command prompt window hit the entry key 
and now again we run the second command if you receive any kind of error just ignore it once this is done now restart the computer restart is a must after this after the system restart now launch the game shortcut you can launch the shortcut or you can just open right when the uh, right client not the run card and then uh, let me close it and then i have to re uh, launch it relaunch when you relaunch uh, you will see you have to log in once again and then you have to go to the game and then you will see update option you will see update option in my case it's already up to date so if you see update option or when you launch the game during the launch it will reinstall vanguard and if you see the update option you have to update it and then you have to restart the computer and after the system restart you can check so in my case it will reinstall the vanguard when it's launching the game again restart the computer and then launch the game next is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser over here you can see x86 and x64 you have to install both the files download this x86 file run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this x64 file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once install restart the computer the restart is a must after this after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so you can wherever the game is installed you can go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then make a double click launch the game from here if that is not work make a right click on run as administrator and then check if that does not work open line binaries win64 you can make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check also uh, like if this option is checked you can uncheck this box hit apply click on okay and then try to launch the game do the same thing with the first exe file next step is to perform clean installation of a graphics card driver so if you have in Nvidia card go to Nvidia website if you have AMD card go to AMD website I'm showing for Nvidia select your graphic card your operating system click on find and you will see the very uh, the latest graphic card driver at the top not the studio one uh, but the GeForce game ready driver you can click on view and then you can click on download and once the download is complete you can run the exe file click on yes to allow click on ok and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation click on next after the clean installation is done restart your computer and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version so open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart you can check next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have otas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller connected to the computer do not overclock if you have overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application close all the third party application and services if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall the game and go to the game so let me close the game last step is to you can just make a right click on the game and then click on uninstall after the uninstall you can go to the game installation folder and then you can delete the game folder so you can delete this game folder delete it and then restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check this has also worked for many players so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the crashing issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel